coming into Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's coming down this mountain. It's real pretty. See all the lights. I just talked to uh, the first guy when I first started driving the truck. I started. Uh, with CRST and uh, it's a team uh, a team operation and I thought when I first started I said well I'd be better to go with somebody that knows what they're doing well he didn't know what he was doing either <laughs> but uh, he was my first partner we still keep in contact He's a, uh, he don't drive a truck anymore. He's uh, something to do with a Republican Party in um, Wisconsin. And uh, boy, he was all excited. He had gone to a Trump rally and he uh, was telling me all about it and he was telling me I needed to listen to this guy named David Strait uh, I've never heard of and uh, become a sovereign citizen and all this stuff I've heard that garbage before and uh, so he said and he's going to open your eyes and uh, you don't know the truth you're asleep and I told him I said brother I am not asleep my eyes are wide open and I've got the only truth in this world and that is uh, the Bible and he said well he, he uses the Bible <laughs> and uh, I guess the guy's uh, handle is out of Babylon or something so I took that opportunity. Now, Bob, the guy uh, that's my partner, <coughs> uh, he claims to be a Christian, but every other word out of his mouth is a curse word. And, uh, you know, he said, well, Christians are bad. You know, he goes back to the Catholic Church and what they've done and all that stuff. Uh, anyway, I don't believe he's a Christian, not for one minute. But I was trying to explain to him that I do have the truth. And he's saying, well, we got to save America. We got to do this. We got to do that. Folks, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm all for, uh, you know, resisting the Antichrist and the Antichrist system. Well, we got a book, and that book says he's going to take control, so you can do whatever you want, and it's not going to make one bit of difference because it's written uh, in the book. The Antichrist is uh, going to come into power. And I believe that we're going to be raptured out before he does I don't know if we're going to be raptured out before we know who he is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 you know it says that uh, that man of sin will be revealed and I've always had trouble with that uh, scripture I mean I've heard all the teaching on it but uh, we might be here to know who he is and then you better look up <laughs> but we're looking for Christ not the Antichrist but what I'm, my point is um, we're going to America has got to fall <laughs> and I mean, it has to before the Antichrist can come in. You can't have a sovereign nation. Now, we can 
delay it by electing people, and I agree with that. You know, resist, resist. Uh, but pretty clear in the Bible that uh, it's going to get bad. And see, my home is not America, and that's what I was trying to tell him. I said, you know, he's older than I am. And I said, how many years do you believe you have left, you know? Lay up your treasure in heaven. Think about what the, uh, for eternity, not for this temper, but uh, there's no talking to him much. He was just so uh, tickle pink that uh, he went to a Trump rally and he's going to change the world and everything. Folks, uh, I don't believe we can. I believe it's uh, written in in stone what's going to happen. And uh, the man of sin, he's going to come and he's going to, you know, rule the world, the ten nations and all that. I don't understand everything about that I don't pretend to a lot of people uh, write books and uh, have seminars and all this stuff and but uh, I don't believe they exactly know if you go back to La Haye and those guys what they were saying uh, back in the 80s and, uh, about the stuff that's gonna happen they were wrong about a whole lot of stuff. So uh, we have a more sure word of prophecy. It's in that book. But I don't consider myself a prophet. <laughs> and uh, I read the book. I believe the book. And uh, it, God reveals to his people what he wants to reveal. Uh, we are not of the night. We are of the day. Although I drive every night. <laughs> but uh, that, that day should overcome us as a thief. Uh, we know what's coming uh, if you believe the Word of God. Uh, anyway, yeah, he, Wisconsin. I, uh, I'm like, I'm real proud of you. But he, he's uh, organizing Republican this and listen, uh, my Savior is not the Republican Party. My Savior is the Lord Jesus Christ. To be honest with you, I'm not a Republican. Anyhow, I'm not a Democrat. I'm what, politically speaking, would be considered a libertarian. Uh, give me a strong military and fix the roads and get government out of my life but he was talking about the FBI is non-constitutional and the IRS is non-constitutional and you know that's all well and uh, great and everything but uh, he said you don't have to pay your taxes it's non-constitutional well let me tell you you, you can do you can go that route and I uh, asked Ken Hoban how it worked out for him. You want the government to come down on your head, just don't pay your taxes. Uh, you can murder somebody in the street and get away with more than if, uh, if you don't pay your taxes in this country, I'll tell you what. But anyway, I, uh, thought I'd just make a quick video and he was all excited he wanted me to go to Rumble uh, well, I guess that's another forum I, I I think I do got a Rumble account I never go on it uh, much and uh, he was telling me to get on Facebook and I do not go to Facebook uh, I'm not on Twitter uh, the only thing I do is this silly YouTube channel, and I wouldn't even be on it if my grandson wouldn't have told me about it and showed me how to get on. <laughs> but uh, I'm not into, 
you know, all these chats. I've never been a member of a chat group. Not saying that it's right or wrong. I just, that's not me. Uh, I like to communicate with you guys, and that's about it. But anyway, just let me know what you think about it. Uh, You think that uh, we're going to save this world by electing politicians? (laughs) Or uh, are we waiting for uh, the Prince of Peace? Uh, He's the only one that's going to fix this mess we're in. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm in Albuquerque. we got to be in Morrow, Georgia, tomorrow. And we're going to stay out uh, another week, I think, and uh, try to earn some money out here. Well, you guys have a blessed day, and remember the only truth you're going to find in written form is in that book the Bible and uh, you read that book he speaks to you I'm uh, doing an in-depth study on Ephesians that's one of my favorite books I love that book Uh, there's so much involved in the book of Ephesians Uh, but I'm really enjoying that and uh, the truth that It's by grace through faith, uh, not of works of righteousness which we have done, but by grace you are saved. Uh, If you can grasp that, that'll give you a reason to say hallelujah today. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and God bless each and every one of you.